no. Hey, Megan. Hi. I just realized I packed something that I wasn't supposed to pack. So guess what? I'm super excited to tell you guys we're finally moving. And we've got everything kind of in disarray right now. And we're slowly packing it into boxes and cubes. We're trying to keep it as organized as possible. But you know how that goes. On the 29th of this month is when we technically can move in, but we're moving in to our new place on the 30th is mainly when we're doing packing. We've been here for about nine months and it is finally the day that we're moving out. We did this once before and we took all of Megan's stuff um, from where she was living when we moved in together and um, had to pack it up in cars. We didn't have a ton of things because it was mainly just her stuff. And then we um, put it in our cars and moved it over here and did it like box by box. And now we're doing it with everything we have. So what are you working on right now? Sparkly. I sound like your dad. <laughs> so, got a big box of Megan clothes. And then, Katie, bunch of, you know, curling irons and things like that. And uh, all of our cups and coffee stuff. We got to move my piano over. I feel like when you move for the first time, or for us, or for Megan the second time, but it you don't really realize how much stuff you have until you are taking each and everything and putting it aside and packing it into boxes, and it just makes you realize how much stuff you accumulate over time. Right now, we're just kind of going through what we can pack and leaving stuff that we still need. Um, I'm thinking what we'll do is probably take clothes for the next few days, or at least I will, and I'll just pack the rest of the clothes and then we'll have everything as much as we can, as we possibly can, have it packed and ready to go for the 30th when we're moving everything over. If you've ever tried packing Legos before, they can be uh, kind of troublesome to pack because this one sticks over the top and we kind of, <laughs> I don't know, we for a little while we bought a few Lego sets and we were just buying one here and there and they were just fun to build so I figured we'd take them with us and maybe one day I'll sell them or something like that. I kept all the boxes and stuff but I just put the Lego sets inside these cubes because I figured it'd be the most easiest way to organize them and if I was to put them in a big box like that and just shove them all in there I guarantee you they'd just get all broken so this one needs to go in the boxes and it's done so we got all the Legos in the boxes I think there's one two three, four, five sets that we have. Most of them are Harry Potter, so. Um, I've been looking for these. Well, not been looking for them. I've been thinking about these. What are they? Reusable hand warmers. Oh, really? Yeah. We could have used those when we went snowboarding. We bought a huge pack of them. What are you trying to figure out? Out of this bag can be tossed. Oh, I gotcha. I packed all the movies into this box here, and I'm actually pretty proud with how well I packed them in there. So they look pretty nice. So we've cleared off most of the shelf up here, and really all that's left is kind of random things. Um, oh, look at that my camping stove. <laughs> yeah, your camping box is right here. Oh, is that where that is? Oh my goodness. So this is all of my camping stuff, including my tent. 
in this uh, bear bag that the raccoons completely ate into and now it's just got a big old hole in it there's like a mess kit in here um, paracord propane so in this spare bedroom we also have a bunch of stuff of ours too so it keeps on going um, we got some wedding photos engagement photos and it actually turned out really well um, that's all of our Christmas stuff in that uh, box with the yellow lid um, some camera equipment Christmas stuff and then all in this corner here is mostly our wedding gifts um, we've got a silverware set right there some uh, storage containers bakeware set pizza cutter and uh, pizza stone um, I'm not sure what's in that box right there sheet set and then a few other things so this all have to be consolidated as well and we'll have to run it out to the cars and get it over to the new place kitty I'm on a mission to find some zip ties can't see anything in here I think if we had any it'd probably be in this bag that's a negative we do not have any zip ties my next task it sounds like is gathering all the kitchen stuff and I'm going to put it in that pile right there so there's not a ton of stuff but I also want to check and see if um, if that knife set fits inside of a knife block upstairs um, because it'd be nice to have a knife block because this the little thing that it comes in <laughs> is not the greatest of quality so and we're done moving the kitchen stuff it is all down there I think the last thing is just before we finish off for tonight is just uh, moving the stuff out of the bedroom and then getting it somewhat organized and then we'll just call it a night and uh, resume doing some more of this stuff tomorrow. So this and this all need to go away and they're gone. And with that being said, we're going to call it a night. We're going to go to bed. I might edit this video and that's going to be the end of today's video because we're tired and we both uh, have done quite a bit today. So it's time to sign off and we'll catch you guys probably tomorrow when we finish up doing more of the packing.